Hello guys, in this video, I will show you how to create a crystal material in Unreal Engine. Now, let's start it. Okay, first, we need some ice or crystal textures. We can create it in Substance Painter or download it in Bridge. In Bridge, we can search frozen or ice. Now, we can see there are many surfaces. And we use the frozen lake. Okay, now let's create a material. Rename it um, underline ice. And we need to put these textures in material editor and connect them. Save the material. In the level, we use the material to static mesh. Now we can see it just a surface effect, so we need to make some change to the crystal material. First, we need a camera vector. This expression means the direction from the pixel to the camera. And it often used to fake environment maps by connecting the camera vector to a component mask and using the X and Y channels of the camera vector as texture coordinates. Just like what we are doing now. Let's preview the node. Now we can see the fake environment map. But it doesn't look very good, so we need to transform the space. Add a transform vector. We need to change the source space to word and the destination space to tangent. Now it looks better. We can add a distort effect to the surface. First, we need a noise texture and multiply one and Add one. Connect the output to the multiply B and connect the UVs. Now we can see the distort effect. We can change the multiply's value to control the distort intensity. Also, we can add a panel to the noise texture. The speed x and y, we can give it a 0.1. Now we have a distort animation. And connect the RGB to the emissive color. In the level, we can see the surface effect. Hmm, not bad. Let's keep going. Now we need to make it look more diverse, so let's copy a texture and uh, multiply 0.5. Its cracks will be bigger. Also we can multiply 2, now its cracks will be smaller. And now let's add these two textures and multiply a color. We want to change the color in material instance, so let's create a dynamic vector. Now let's create a material instance and use the material instance to the static mesh. We can change the static mesh's color in real time, but it looks too bright, so let's change it darker. Just power these two textures and add them. Also, we can disconnect the base color. Now it looks more like a crystal. 
Now let's set some flickering cracks to the material. Also, we need to copy a texture and power it. The power exponent, we need a dynamic value. So let's add a time. Sign the time and a constant bell scale. Make the value to 0 to 1. And the lerp's value a is 2, b is 3. Now we have a flickering cracks. Also, we can multiply it to a color and add them to the emissive color. Now we can change the cracks and the surface color. Also, we can add a finale effect to the material to make the static mesh edges shine. Let's add a finale. and promote these values to parameters. We can change these parameters in material instance. Now we can change the final effect. Now it looks too many cracks inside the material, so we need to control the tiling of textures. Let's add a text curl and add it to UV and we need to multiply text card and uh, dynamic parameter to control the UV tiling the dynamic parameter we need a uh, append vector R controls the U tiling and G controls the V tiling and add it to camera vector and connect the Add output to texture UVs. Now we can control the texture tiling in material instance. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.